Welcome back to another Untrained video. In today's video I went to solo on a Polaris server with normal loot and we will go from naked to getting a pretty scenery base with insane loot in it, a ton of PvP against groups and generally getting one of the richest players on the server in a very short time. And this video is also part 1 of a 2 part series. So if you guys want to see part 2 in the future make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Also make sure to subscribe to not miss any future videos since we're trying to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. In the last video I also announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you're watching and you want to claim a prize please join my discord over discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going to another one which is an electric magic cape. If you want to win this mythical make sure that you have liked, subscribed or comment something below. If you're a channel member you also have a higher chance of winning. Also make sure to check out the 10 mythical giveaway, the link will be in the description below. It's very easy to join and only takes a few seconds. Alright boys, so just joined Polaris solo, there are a few people on, uh, two duos and the rest are solo, so that should actually be quite easy for me to, to do well now. Today we're gonna be uh, solo, we're gonna go solo Polaris on a server that has one times loot. There are a few kits, but nothing too crazy. But first things first, we should probably try to build a, a base. Try to find ourselves a decent base location, hopefully we'll get ourselves nothing too close to, to clans or whatever. The server does allow, I think, up to six players per team. And since it is quite early in the morning, then I'm gonna assume that more people will join later on. So I'm gonna try to get myself a pretty good start until then. I actually do have a bit of a base location idea where we could build. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, close to a very good unmarked location too. So probably that's where we're actually going to build. Let's hope we get ourselves some good stuff. We already get ourselves... Uh, grenade launcher as soon as you join in the server you get a crazy so I will not complain with that pretty good gun All right, yeah, you know what I'm just gonna completely skip over this town and I'm gonna try to go to the base location I'm gonna try to get myself an axe on the process there's a military air over here I should probably loot it really quickly maybe we'll get ourselves something good I have ragdolls turned off I should turn them on but yeah if you guys want to see more Polaris videos in the future let me know I do have a, a good time playing this map I absolutely love it there we go we got pants let's just salvage them for now so that we can get ourselves a bed as quickly as possible could switch this as well and salvage the torn instead another shirt there's a oh somebody logged off there oh great yeah something about the server that i like is if people log off their bodies are still there so this dude just logged off got ourselves some starter guns nothing too crazy though uh, we got ourselves a grill grit some clothes some ammo this is actually pretty good loot for a one times loot server so i will not complain yeah let's take the meds i don't even have that much space so i don't know how i'm gonna take all of this now right, you know what not too bad Wait, what? There's a guy there? I think he's naked, though. I'm still gonna kill him. He may have something. Oh, he has a jackhammer. Actually, I'll take that, bro. There we go. He's dead. Easy jackhammer. That's actually really, really good. Let's kill the zombie. Oh, he had a billion tape. Damn. All right. Well, very good loot, actually. That's really, really used later on especially tape man oh there's a metal sheet i'll take that all right lovely so i'm gonna head to the base location that i want to build in which is going to be on like a little hill very close to the ship now on the ship we can get ourselves copper coil we can get ourselves cotton wool which is good for industrial boxes obviously the copper coil is used for horde beacons which that's the method that i'll be getting mechanical lotuses from we got ourselves bevlar too so now we can actually already upgrade a shirt or something so let me do that oh wait where's my bevlar there it's on the floor and we got ourselves a mercenary shirt great and salvage that sword as well, we don't need it. Before we continue with the video, I would like to shout out today's sponsor. Are you prepared for an intense journey that will redefine your gaming experience? Make sure to check out the epic game of Honkai Star Rail, the groundbreaking RPG phenomenon that has captured the hearts of millions of players. Honkai can be played on PC, PlayStation 5 and mobile devices, with shared data between all of the platforms. Honkai Star Rail has also achieved the titles of Best Game of the Year of 2023 on Google Play and the App Store, as well as the Best Mobile Game at the Game Awards of 2023. Crafted by the masterminds of Hoyoverse, the creators of Genshin Impact, this game is nothing short of a true masterpiece. The latest version, which is version 2.1, which is also the anniversary update, awaits your exploration. Immerse yourself in the exhilarating Cosmodesi event where every dice roll leads to thrilling rewards and adventures. Journey through the enchanting Clock Studios theme park filled with interactive activities and beloved characters. But that's not all. Prepare yourself to meet two new characters. The first one is called Acreon, which is an enigmatic interstellar wanderer with a heart of gold 
and as for the characteristics in battle, Acheron is a lightning type nihility capable of very high burst damage, and the second one is called Aventurine, whose courage knows no bounds. As for Aventurine's characteristics during battle, he is an imaginary type preservation character who specializes in stacking group shields multiple times. With both of their unique abilities and compelling backstories, these characters will elevate your gaming experience to new heights. In this new update, there will be a plethora of brand new gameplay experiences such as a 2D racing game, the Monster Lounge, Fever Time Battle, events, and much more. Also, a brand new 4-star fire type abundance character named Gallagher will be introduced. There also will be two maps, new maps gameplay, new NPCs, and new monsters. A free 20 pool is waiting for you. Log in for 7 days to receive 20 star rail special passes for free. They can be used to pull Acheron or Aventurine. Also, by logging into the game, you can even claim 1,600 stellar jades via mail. And the celebration doesn't end there. Experience the excitement offline with the series of anniversary exhibitions taking place worldwide. From immersive installations to exciting activities, there's something for every fan to enjoy. In the description below, I will have the dates and locations for all of these exhibitions. Don't miss out the adventure in a lifetime. Download Honkai Star Rail now and join us as we celebrate one year of epic gaming, exploration, and unforgettable memories. Make sure to use the following redemption code to obtain 50 stellar jades, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I got myself a wooden axe. It's gonna take a while to actually chop down a tree, but that's all we have till now. I'm gonna build a little base, a 1x2 probably for now, or even a 1x1. But we're gonna farm as much as possible. We do still obviously need to make meds. I'm gonna try to get myself cotton wool as well for industrial boxes. There we go, we got one. Pretty sure we need two. Same time, we're gonna get copper, oil, copper coil. There we go, we got ourselves a second cotton wool. Yeah, copper coil is here, let's go. Both of them. Well, no, literally nobody comes here. There's a military spawn here, a police spawn, copper coil, and a fishing one. Even though fishing is not really anything that good, but literally nobody comes in this area. Mate, we're gonna build on top of this hill. I did it once before, and the base did last for a pretty long time. So I do imagine that we'll actually not get raided in the first one hour of us living up here. Alright, so we're gonna build it over here, very close to the edge, and then we can extend with roofs. It'll look quite cool but for now let's just build a one by one i don't think i have enough wood to actually build anything bigger than a one by one i don't even know if i have enough to build one yeah, but let's put the bed i'm gonna have to farm a little bit more obviously over here there's also a snowman which is an npc but all he needs is a carrot and with the carrot then we can just buy snowballs that's that's basically it's kind of a worthless npc but the only people that come here are usually people that want to do that quest for whatever reason. So we can always catch them off guard, kill them. And there we go, we got two walls, lovely. As soon as this base is done, then we'll start doing some more runs, try to get ourselves, hopefully, sign crystals and Polaris flowers. Polaris flowers aren't really that hard to get, to be honest. There's a spawn very close to here, too. But I'm gonna try to get myself everything to make horde beacons. We need generators or DAW scans. We're gonna need a copper coil, which we already got. Some metal and some rope, I'm pretty sure. They're very easy to make. But we're gonna try to hit up a military area as well. And obviously try to find PvP. Right, so I got everything wall placed. And now roof placed. Now let's just put the door. And our one by one base is secure. Now I don't have to worry about us dying and losing everything. So let's just make ourselves a few crates for now. There we go, got two. Let's put the extra guns. The tape, jackhammer, we don't want to lose those especially. We already got a jerry can. We can use that for a horde beacon. I'm still gonna run around with the crazy for now. I don't want to take any good gun. Even though Krizzy is good, but everybody spawns with a Krizzy on the server. Now, we already filled up both of our crates, to be honest. So, we gotta farm even more. We can just take this tape out and place it on the floor, actually. Yeah, let's put them over here. A wall of tape. And now, let's go do an insane Lutron. Hopefully, not die. Right, somebody's shooting. He could be killing the, the Observer, actually. So, I'm gonna try to go there. Get ourselves easy sign crystal. Oh, I hear him. Pretty sure that's a kinney. Yeah, he's in here, the police. Yeah, he's spraying down the zombies. Yeah, let's just jump on him. Yeah, he's clueless. My guy started screaming the n-word, he's dead. Yep, shotgun, kinney. Uh, and there's a... Of course, man. Bro, there was another guy. I should have known it was a duo. Oh, there's a dude, there's a... Oh my god, this guy just did the kit? Bro, there's no way I'm gonna do... Take a gun out of vault. Where did he run off to? He's running over there. I think that's like one of the best kids that he just did as well. Where the hell is he running off to, man? Oh, he's right here. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, he got the kinney kit. Oh, there we go. Well, we still got a kinney. A rainbow beret. I'm not gonna wear that. Literally gives me away. There we go. All right, let's put that gun back in vault. And now we'll use the kinney that we just got. Perfect. 
And you just turned day as well. There's CV day on the survey. We got ourselves a good axe as well from that. Great. I don't have to use a wooden axe anymore. I'm gonna try to not use any of the kits, actually. Not a huge fan of kits. Alright, so over in this town, I'm just gonna loot it really quickly. We can get ourselves some good stuff, some guns, some tools. We just got tape. There we go, we got 9mm as well, another tape. Oh, there's a dude there. Let's kill him. Yep, he's dead. And he had uh, Krizzy and the mag. Yeah, he just spawned in. I'm gonna put the Krizzy in there instead of the grill. It's a much better gun, in my opinion. I think we're gonna go to the safe zone really quickly, claim some quests so that we can start. Oh, uh, there are two guys in here. I'm gonna try to... Let's kill this dude first. There we go, dead. Hit the other dude. Alright, both dead. I think I cleared them all. Let's make sure, yep, there's nobody up here. This may have been the duo that killed me, actually. Oh, walnut, huge. Grenades. He had a bow. Blicky. Honestly, that's pretty good. Yeah, this was the duo that killed me over at the... Oh, he had a shotgun. Carrots. Axes. As I was saying, this was the duo that killed me over next to that police area. The one that was screaming the N-word. I think I'm gonna get back to base soon. I'm kind of full of... Oh, there's another dude. What? Yep, we got... Oh, no, wait, what? Alright, not too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the safe zone, claim quests, and then I will home. Well, Depot, pretty good run, though. We did die, sadly, but we did make up for it, and we did kill them, after all. Alright, so in order to go to the safe zone from here, we need to go down. There we go, I've already picked up the the cord or whatever it is. Put it at the top. Alright, let's get ourselves uh, salvage all of the stuff that we don't need. We could salvage. We can't really put that there, anyway. We could put it here. There we go, better stock. Campfire is upside down for whatever reason. Alright, so this quest, we can always finish it instantly. Just gotta give this dude some carrots. Now let's claim the next one as well. And there we go. I'm gonna sell all these carrots so we don't need them. And let's depot. We're already 250 cash. This one is the most important for quests as well. We for the Observer and for Lotus, Goss, Moss. We obviously try to progress all of that today. We'll try to go to the dead zone, try to get the 30 zombie kills, try to kill the boss zombie up there. Let's get this night vision over here So And now, we home. Alright boys, so a bit of a base update. Uh, we upgraded our base from a 1x1 to a 2x1. We are now living a bit on the air, kind of. And we got ourselves an industrial box. They do give us a lot of storage, man. Really happy with it. Let's put that floor on that side. So we're gonna continue upgrading it later. We're gonna have to do some honeycomb tow and an airlock. And we're gonna move everything into the industrial box, obviously. And there's a lot of people on that side, actually. I'm over here with Akini. Full white outfit. And yeah, they're killing each other. If I just get the kill, I'll just try to home and get out of it. Yeah, he's right. He's right there. Hit him. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he picked up all of the loot. Oh yeah, just two guns. Nothing too crazy, but better than nothing. All right, yeah, let's let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure there are more people on the other side. All right, so I got everything for Horde Beacon. We're gonna go with Jackhammer and Krizzy and three extra mags. That is literally it. An airdrop is passing by, so yeah, I'm not gonna go for it, obviously. It doesn't seem like that the ship, there's nobody there, so that's good. I already also have a broken Goss Mask, by the way. So from that, we can make ourselves a Goss Mask with the Lotus we're about to get from this horde. And then we can already do Dead Zone runs. Kind of progressing Polaris quite quickly today. Literally just by two Lutrons. Alright, let's hope actually nobody tries to counter me. Before, one time I actually did get countered while doing a Horde Beacon over here. Did these respawn? Nope, not yet. Alright, and let's put the Horde right over there. Let's just start killing these zombies with Jackhammer. Alright, so the boss zombie has spawned. He's right over here. I just take him out. There we go. That should have been all of them. We got ourselves a shotgun, so lovely. A backpack, great. Yep, we got ourselves two lotuses, lovely. And let's home. Let's put the lotus in vaults really quickly, just in case we die. But, W horde. Right, somebody shooting. I think that's a pistol though, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's right. Yeah, there he is. He just killed someone. There we go, he's dead. He just killed a naked. Yeah, he only had a block, flare gun, some clothes, and a tier 1 backpack. Alright, not, not, nothing good, man, but easy kill. 
I still haven't been fishing for a while. Actually got myself some pretty good loot. But we're doing the quests mainly. But I got myself a broken gauze mask again. And we actually did get ourselves a, a lot of money. So I won't complain, man. We can buy some decent stuff later on. Especially when we unlock the blueprint. But yeah, now we gotta cook this fish. There's people right in front of me. My guy's eating a carrot. Uh, let's just give this dude his fish back. And we got ourselves another quest ready. Yeah, we gotta do a goldfish quest now. Alright, boys. So I made it to the dead zone. What I really want from here... It's gunpowder, obviously. Gunpowder, armored plates for base, bevlor, gun parts, literally everything that I can get, I'm gonna take it. Oh yeah, there's actually a lot of magazines by the looks of it, like drums, that kind of stuff. Right, let's see what we get. Vest, gun oil, armored parts, lovely. Another two more armored, another one and a 70mm drum, another armored, there's a lot of armored, man. A lot of armored, no gunpowder. I think somebody else has already looted this, man. So little zombies. Check out this one, gives some modded gun. Yeah, the server does have one mod, which is more Polaris guns. Not a huge fan of it, I'm gonna be honest. But I'm gonna take it anyway, maybe it's like the most OP gun ever. We'll check it out when we're in base. Right, let's check out the second part over here, there's another gun crate and a few more zombies do spawn. The majority of people that actually loot the dead zone don't, don't ever come here. Alright, uh, gunpowder and bevlar, finally we got one. Yeah, we're gonna have to do more dead zone runs later on, 100%. Penumbra box, and yeah, there's literally no more zombies. Please up, Brent, say. Oh, we well, got ourselves a pretty good gun. There we go. Let's kill this dude. We got ourselves the false chair. I'm really happy with it. Yeah, we're done with this dead zone run. There are literally no more zombies. We'll come back later. We use like half a filter anyway. Right, let's observe here. Let's kill him for a quest. Get ourselves cyan as well. There we go. Lovely. Put it in vault. I can actually get myself lotuses. I have everything. Let's refill. Alright. Loot is starting to look pretty good, man. Look at all these gun collection that I have. Get ourselves an armored locker, so base is starting to look pretty sexy, not gonna lie. Somebody using flare gun around. I don't know where. I think I'm gonna do another horde beacon very, very soon as well. I'm kinda scared that the flare gun I wouldn't even realize. Maybe uh, there's a pretty big base up there. I think it's raided though. I actually haven't found a single unraided base yet. The ones that I found were like full armored. Alright, I'm gonna do a horde beacon next. We're gonna do our second horde beacon, Jackhammer. Like before, and then we'll just take out the Mega Zombie with ammo. Bro, he's not dead? Alright, there we go. Still the zombie. Probably can don't pop yet. There should be more zombies around, yeah. Let's do the... I popped, and two more lotuses has been obtained. Lovely. Alright, so we got ourselves another filter, so we can do a dead zone run very, very, very shortly. So we're gonna go over there next. We're gonna hopefully get ourselves better loot. Bro, there's no way an airdrop is landing in the dead zone. There's a dude going for it. My guy doesn't even... What? He didn't even have a gauze mask. Alright, well, I'm gonna depot this backpack. We'll put the key... Actually, I don't think I can. Yeah, I'll just keep a filter on us, maybe. I don't know, man. Nah, we'll just keep the backpack, whatever. We'd rather lose a, lose a mercenary backpack than a filter. Check out what loot it had. I'm pretty sure there are other people in the dead zone. Oh, he had, oh my god, he was actually geared. He had a fully decked out gun, fully decked out Moses as well. I'll put the Detto in vault. It's actually really good. Oh no, there are people in there. There are people shooting in there. I don't really want to risk the only gas mask that I have for... Yeah, there are people in there. Nah, I'm gonna depot. I'm gonna I'm gonna home, and then we'll come back later. There's shots going on. It sounded very close. Yeah, they're in this military area. He's right there. There we go. He's dead. Let's go check out what we had, and then we'll. If he had anything good, we'll depot. Oh, he has cyan crystal. Oh, a lot of guns. Another military backpack. You know what? I'll take that. Not bad. Alright, so I actually got a lot of loot, man. I'm really happy with the progression we did in around just two hours. I know base isn't anything crazy, but now we're gonna go do a metal run. So hopefully we can upgrade base to metal. Start making some saves, even though we already have a few. But I'm gonna have myself a much larger loot room. Full metal. Perhaps even armored metal would be would be pretty cool to have. But insane progression in two hours as a solo, man. Very cool snowball we did today.
Alright, so we're back in base, starting to upgrade. We already got ourselves an armored door. Even this doorway, we can make it armored, man. And yeah, we just need some more armored plates. There we go, armored doorway. Make ourselves this wall as well into scrap. Yeah, let's just pick up all of these. There we go. Ourselves an armored wall, another armored wall, another one. There we go, we got ourselves a billion armored walls. Let's put the armored door there. We're crazy, and so I risk ourselves an armored base. Not fully armored, but, you know, pretty nice, man. We just have to do another run at the mines, and there, armored base. And then, obviously, another run at the dead zone for armored plates, but... I'm really happy with the progression we did already, man. There's even more armored and uh, metal scrap in here. Alright, dead zone run complete. Got nothing that insane, to be honest, but a lot of armored plates, which is good for base. We got a penguin, and yeah, there's more stuff over here I still need to pick up. Some mags, some extended ones. Ourselves a penguin, so that's pretty nice. And let's just home. We'll do the key run on another time, because we're already full. Alright boys, so after that I did head off. Now there's going to be a part 2, so if you guys do want to see that coming out soon, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!